Good morning everyone, my name is Paul and today we're going to be doing a 36 volt trolling motor battery installation. Uh, what you will need, now I have a motor guide XI5 36 volt trolling motor and what you will need is 6 gauge wire that's recommended by the factory, all the splices and terminal rings to go with it. You're going to need a 50 to 60 amp circuit breaker. You're going to need a plug and you're going to need a receptacle to connect your trolling motor to the 36 volt series circuit. And this is not hard guys. You're, you're going to be amazed at how easy it is. Very easy guys. So let's get right into it. Super guide XI5 uh, 36 volt 72 inch shaft and this is the ends that come on it. Uh, I'm going to use this plug, so I'm going to cut these ends off and I'm going to splice into this plug and the receptacle is right here. So you will have to drill a hole in your fiberglass with the correct hole saw bit to fit this to run your receptacle um, wires through your boat. Okay, so you're, I, I take this of course, everyone I recommend when you ever cut a hole in fiberglass to tape it, what that's going to do is keep the fiberglass from cracking and shattering as the bit is drilling through the fiberglass. So we're going to get our hole saw here and make sure you have the right size hole saw for your receptacle. Uh, if you don't, then of course it's not going to fit or you may have to ream it out with a drill. So we're going to drill our hole here and put our septicle there and we're going to connect our ends here to a plug. Plug, receptacle. Uh, this just flips open like this and the plug just inserts here like that and that's going to be our assembly. I'm gonna go ahead and get that going and I'll check back in. All right, whenever you drill a hole in fiberglass or with a hole saw, always make sure you have a pilot bit and try not to punch through the other side of your boat hole. So start here. Make sure your drill is on the fastest setting it can go. All right, so that's why I taped it. And even though I taped it, I still lost a little gel coat there where the fiberglass was. And we got to go ahead and get our motor guide receptacle. This is the motor guide receptacle here. And uh, we're just gonna fish our cables through the boat through the hole and uh, you guys I know you guys don't want to care but what you're gonna do is get a coat hanger and tape it to one end and run it down the boat or some wire but uh, this was an inch and an eighth hole saw and it comes out perfect I mean it, it lined it's it almost busted the fiberglass enough to where it couldn't cover, but an inch and an eighth hole saw. I probably could have got something better to do this with, but uh, it looks great. It's gonna come out great. So those end of the cables were gonna come through here where the old 24 volt system was and start our 36 volt system. All right, so here's the diagram. And it's very simple. A lot of people overcomplicate this. Here's my plug or my trolling motor receptacle. The red positive wire here, we're just gonna go out. We're gonna go to our circuit breaker first. Then from the circuit breaker, we're gonna go to our positive lead on the first battery. And then on the first battery from the negative lead, we're gonna go to the positive lead on the second battery. Now from the second battery negative lead, we're gonna go to the positive on the third battery. Now the very last thing we do to complete the circuit is go from the negative terminal on the third battery 
back to our trolling motor receptacle. And some people just wire it straight into the trolling motor, but I have a plug-in receptacle so I can remove my trolling motor off the boat. And that's it. It's real simple. You guys shouldn't have a problem with it. When you start this install, you're gonna have to go and get three batteries for a 36 volt system. 12 volts, 24 volts, and then 36 volts. Now I have group 31 absorbed glass mat batteries because they're gonna last longer and the glass mat batteries will absorb shock and shaking on the boat when you're out on the water or you're trailering the boat. So, I mean, you can spend as much as you want on batteries. They got, you know, your budget brand that's gonna last you about one or two years. Then you got like a five to seven year battery. And if you really wanna spend a lot of money, you can buy lithium batteries, which are really expensive. But these are a Group 31 AGM battery and they are kinda heavy, so I spread them out. So what you want to do, you don't want to put too much weight on one side of your boat because you're going to have to overcome it on the other side or it's just going to lean. So what I did here is put one battery here, one battery over here, and one battery in the middle. I got my trolling motor weight on the left side also, so I put my bank charger over here to try to give it a little bit of weight over here to try to balance things out. So that's another thing to think about. All right guys, so let's just go over what we just seen on the diagram. This is our receptacle. It's two prong, it's got a positive and a negative. And those two wires are going through the hole of the boat. It's going around and it's going down here into my access hole right here. That's my positive and negative leads coming out of there. And you're gonna start with your positive, your positive terminal, which is right here. It's coming out of the plug receptacle. And you're gonna go to your circuit breaker. You're gonna come out of your circuit breaker. Get a better view for you. You're gonna come out of your circuit breaker and around up to your first battery positive terminal okay and then from there you're gonna go from your negative terminal from your first battery onto the positive terminal onto your second battery and then from there you're gonna go from your negative terminal on your second battery onto your positive terminal to your third battery so we're just making one big series circuit. And on the last and final hookup, you're gonna go from your negative terminal to your negative wire on your trolling motor all the way back over here to your plug. This is my negative. So you just made one complete 36 volt series circuit. And these extra wires that I have here, these are for my battery charger. I have an onboard battery charger. I suggest you get one of those. I have another video showing you how to install that with an AC charging port. But that's, that's pretty much it, guys. And once you do that, you'll have 36 volts coming out of your plug up there. If you don't, you've done something wrong you need to go back and check all your connections all right guys so when you get done installing your trolling motor batteries on your 36 volt system you're going to need a voltmeter and you're going to want to test your at your receptacle here and make sure that you have 36 volts so that's what we're going to do and make sure we have this little flap is really tough to open, which is good. Okay, so I'm just gonna touch here. Garrett, touch some two prongs for me, buddy. One on the right and one on the There you go. Let me see if you can hold them. Hold them. Hold them. And we got 38 volts. 
37 volts, 38 volts, which is perfect. All right, you holding it on there? There we go, 38 volts. So we know we got our 36 volt system installed properly, guys. All right, and if you have any money left over from buying trolling motor batteries and wires and circuit breakers, I highly recommend you cover your trolling motor plug. We spliced in right here for our plug adapter. I highly recommend you cover with some type of wire covering, even though it's supposed to be all weatherproof. You want to protect it from UV damage from the sun and salt water and temperature. So just some type of covering would help a whole lot. It does make a difference. So. At the ends of your wire covering, leave just a little space there so you can tape to the wire and tape to your wire covering. That way you can kind of make like a, a little seal with your electrical tape and hold the ends of the wire covering in place so it don't slide up and down your wires. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this end where the plug is and you'll basically have you a pretty good weatherproof wire. All right guys, so we got our 36 volt battery system installed and we got our plug hooked up there. We deployed the trolling motor and we have power. It's kind of, as soon as you turn this uh, motor guide on, you're gonna wanna hit both of these buttons at the same time. And that'll sync, when you hit both of these at the same time, it'll sync the motor and you should just be able to control your prop with this button. And it's on. And now we should have full control of this trolling motor with our 36 volt battery system we just installed. So everything's working properly. Um, when you first turn it on, it's gonna take a few minutes for this satellite signal to turn on because it's trying to acquire a GPS signal. But yeah, man, that's it. 36 volt battery installation complete and the motor is working properly. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful to you guys. Please smash the like button and subscribe guys. We'll see you next time.